We're going to solve the double integral of sine y over x, where x varies from the square root of pi to square root of 2 pi, and y varies from 0 to x cubed. We're going to substitute u for y over x here, so that u becomes y over x, and we'll take du dy, so du is uh, 1 over x dy, and we'll move the x over, so that'll become x du equal dy. Now we'll plug in our u and du so that this will become uh, the du is x uh, plug in the sine of u du and dx so that for the dy we substituted x du here, and for the y over x, we substituted the u. Now keep in mind, we're just doing this inside integral. So x at this point is just a constant. It could be the number 2, 3, or number 44. In fact, we could even, if we wanted to, move this x to the outside of this first integral. We'll now solve this inside integral for du. So the um, x is constant, so that remains the same. The integral of sine u will be negative cosine u. And we're done with the u substitution, so we could plug back in our y and x. And that's the integral from x3 and 0. And we'll keep the dx. Now we'll fill in our two points here. So this will become negative x cosine uh, y equals x3 over x, will, which will become x squared minus uh, y equals 0. Cosine of 0 is 1 times x, so that will just leave x. And we'll keep in our dx. Now to solve this integral, again, we'll do the u substitution for x squared here. Uh, but we only have to do that for the first term, not the second term. So we're going to break this up into two different parts here, since we're going to be doing two different methods to come up with the integral. So the first one is x cosine of uh, x squared dx. And then we'll write in the second term, minus times a minus will equal a plus the integral of x dx. Now we'll do the u substitution for x squared. So we'll set u equal to x squared uh, du dx will equal to 2x dx and um, we'll move the 2 over so that will become 1 half du is equal to x dx. Okay, plug it in our u and du into here. 
will give us the integral of x is part of the um, x dx that will go into u. So we'll just do the cosine of u and x and dx becomes du and we got the one half here is part of the du and then we'll write the second term which remains the same x dx we'll now solve for these two integrals so this will become the integral of cosine u will be sine u. And we're actually done with the u substitution, so we can plug x squared back in. And then we'll uh, do the second integral. Uh, integral of x will become x squared over 2. And that goes from square root of pi to the square root of 2 pi. We'll now put the two points into our equation. And so this will become negative 1 half sine. We'll plug in the square root of 2 pi into the uh, x squared, so that will become 2 pi plus x squared here will become pi, I'm sorry, it'll be 2 pi over 2 minus negative one-half sine uh, x squared of the square root of x will become x, oh, I'm sorry, will become pi plus uh, x squared of the square root of pi will be pi over 2. Now let's evaluate this. So the uh, sine of 2 pi is going to be equal to 0. So this whole first term will be 0 plus 2 pi over 2. And we could cancel out these 2's, but I see a 2 in the denominator over here, so I'm going to leave it in for now. We'll probably make the math easier later on. Uh, minus times a minus will be plus sine of pi is 0. And minus pi over 2. And 2 pi over 2 minus pi over 2 will equal pi over 2. And that is our answer. Thank you very much for watching, and feel free to leave any comments. Thank you.